and he smote the the javelin into the wall, and David fled and escaped that night. See that? It wasn't no evil spirit from uh, no devil. It wasn't no evil spirit from uh, Satan, as uh, as they say, or the devil, or Lucifer. This is God doing all of it here. God is doing this. Now, let's go a little further here. Let's look at 1 Kings. Let's go to 1 Kings. 1 Kings, um, 1 Kings 22. 1 Kings chapter 22. Let's, let's look at that. First Kings twenty-two. Um, okay, let's look at this right here. First Kings twenty-two. God has many spirits. Now let's look at this. Let's look at First Kings twenty-two twenty-one. Look what it says. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord. See that. But check out what kind of spirit it is. And said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, Who? The, st the spirit? He says, Wherewith? Well How are you going to persuade him? And he said, Who? The spirit? I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit. Huh? In the mouth of all his prophets. And he should, and he shall say, "Thou shalt persuade him, and prevail also. Go forth and do so." God has told us, told his evil spirit, this lying spirit, go ahead and be a lying spirit in in his mouth. Do y'all see here that the, the Most High says, "I rule it in the kingdom of men." Ain't nobody running the show but me. Ain't, ain't no devil running nothing. Ain't no Satan running nothing. And Lucifer, damn sure, ain't running nothing. Now, let's go a little further. I know my dick out there going to try to come get, but my sister and brother, you guys know what you're reading. You know that, it's, it, that, that what I'm showing you is facts. This is not a suggestion. This is not what I think. Uh, the Lord name is here. I mean, uh, this is undeniable. Now, look what he says here also. Now, therefore, behold... The Lord has put a lying spirit. Now, this is 23. A lying spirit in the mouth of all these that prophets. And the Lord has spoken evil concerning thee. Huh? But you give a New Testament over him with this bullshit about Jesus. And Jesus, is, in other words, now you know who, who, who's, who's doing all this. You, you look at this bullshit in the New Testament, now you see that, that, that there's a so-called tug of war between God and Jesus. Because everything that God puts on a person, Jesus turns around and take it off. But my sisters and brothers, uh, that couldn't be further from the truth. He ain't taking a damn thing off. Like I say, that over there, that, that New Testament is nothing but bullshit. Can't nobody, can't nobody take nothing off of you but the Most High. Nobody else. Now let's go a little further. Let's go to Second Chronicles. The Second Chronicles. Let's go there. See, because my sisters and brothers, you need to see this with your own eyes. Second Chronicles, on chapter eighteen. Let, let's look at that. We're gonna read verse twenty down to twenty-two. Second Chronicles eighteen, and verses twenty down to twenty-two. Okay. Now look what it says here. Then there came out a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. See that? Now, now this is a spirit standing before God saying that I'm going to go out here and I'm going to trick this son of a bitch. I'm going to entice him. Huh? I'm going to set him up. That's what he's saying. And God agrees with it. Now look what it says, my sister and brother. I will entice him. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? He said, I will go out. And be a lying spirit in his mouth of all his prophets. And the Lord said, Thou shalt entice him, and thou shalt also prevail. 
Go out and do even so. God saying this. Now where where is all these all these fucking devils that Jesus talks about? Where's all these devils at? I mean, my sisters and brothers, I know you're getting this. But I want these Christians to get this, where they can get the hair from around us. Because we are separated people. We are different. We are nothing like the rest of them. You Christians, get the fuck from around God's people. Get on, get away from us because we are not like y'all. Now look what he says in 22. He said, now therefore, behold, the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouth of these thy prophets, and the Lord has spoken evil against thee. Right in the pages. I'm not changing anything. I'm not, tis- I'm not twisting no words. I'm telling you exactly the raw word of the Most High. I'm not being kind. I'm not being nice. I'm not being any of that bullshit. I'm being direct. I'm being straightforward. Because that's the way he wants it. He don't want you to cut no corners. Don't sugarcoat it. Don't, don't do none of that bullshit. Bring it to him just like I give to you. And that's me. A lot of me no more than all is not going to cut no corners and, 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 and bake no damn pies for nobody. We're going to put it out there on, on the table raw. If you, if you don't want it, walk away from it. But it's out there. Now let's go. Let's go a little further here. Let's go to Exodus, the 15th chapter. Let's go to Exodus, the 15th chapter. See, because the Most High is the one that's the, 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 that rule is. Uh, I mean, I don't care what nobody says. I mean, he ain't allowed me no, no more dot off. We're going to tell you everything the Most High says, all that bullshit. I ain't got time for it. And please, y'all Christian, y'all keep your dumb ass comments. If, you, if you're not going to come with some substance, keep it to yourself. Go ahead on. We don't want you around here. I'm telling you to leave. Please. Now, um, Exodus 15, let's look at verse 20, 20 through 24. Look what it says. In Marion, is that that's the one I, I wanted? Exodus 15, 24. To 26. Let's look at that. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? And he and he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord shewed him a tree, which when he had cast into the waters, and the water was made sweet. And there he made for them a a, a statue and an ordinance. And there he prevailed, he, he proved them. And he said, If thou wilt diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee. See that? Healing come from the, the Most High. You Christians can't heal nobody. Y'all can't. Jesus can't either. Jesus can't heal nobody. Only the Most High can do healing. That's it. Nobody else. Now, let's go a little further. Let's go to Exodus 23. Exodus 23. Let's go there. Exodus 23. All right. Let's look at Exodus 23, verse 24 and 25. It said, Thou shalt not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do after their works. But thou shalt utterly overthrow them and quite break down their images. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread, and thy water, and will take sickness away from the midst of thee. See that? Only the Most High can take sickness away from you. Not Jesus. Not no apostles. Not no disciples. 
All that bullshit about it. he gave 70 disciples to go out and cast out. All that bullshit. Nuh-uh. Only God can do that. Only the Most High. The Mighty One of Jacob. Only He, by Himself, can heal. Nobody else. And, and any any of the prophets that He used in the old, old days, He, the Most High, gave them authority. And through them... The individual was healed, or either brought back to life. Not by no apostles of Jesus. Now, let's go a little further. Let's go to Psalms 103. Now, watch this, my sister and brother. Psalms 103. Very good one. This is a good one. Psalms 103. Now, look at it right here. See, that's why I, I, I always stress. Israel knew where their, their help came from. Now, all this bullshit about Jesus coming in the New, in the, in the, in the, in the New Testament, uh, doing all of it. Israel, they knew God. They saw him with their own eyes. They heard his voice. I mean, they knew who their God was. That, that was no mistake about well somebody else no they ventured off and started started messing around with other God but then but when God punished that they came back it's like a fool walks off from home and then find out that the grass is not greener on the other side as as they perceive shit I'm I'm going back home and that's Israel they know where the help came from it came from the most high now let's look at Psalm 103 here and look what David said here. One of his psalms. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Boy, I tell you, he's loaded. He is loaded. And then look what he says. Who forgive all of our, of our what? Iniquity. Who healeth all that disease. Why he didn't say Jesus? Since Jesus claimed that he was there in the beginning, but tonight I'm going a, I'm to a prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that Jesus was nowhere. And I mean nowhere when God uh, uh, made uh, creation. And I mean that. Now, let's go a little further here. Uh, we uh, looked at, let's look at Psalms, uh, let's go to Deuteronomy uh, 7. Let's go to Deuteronomy uh, chapter 7. Let's see what it says there. Deuteronomy chapter 7. Look what it says. 7 and... Let's look at 15. 14 and 15. Look what it says. 14 says, Thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be a male or female barren among you or among your cattle. And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases. Do y'all hear what I said? Evil diseases. Huh? Of the of Egypt which thou knewest upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. See that? God is the one. Not no devil, not no uh, uh, Lucifer, not Satan, but it is the Most High. Now, let's move a little further. Let's go um, down here to, um, let's look at Matthew um, 12. Let's go there. Matthew 12. Watch it right on my brothers and sisters. Matthew 12th chapter. Watch this, my brothers and sisters. Matthew 12. Let's look at verse 44. 44 and 45. I believe that's what I want. Yeah, 44 and 45. Look what it says. And then he said, I will return. But well, let's go up a little further. 43. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he said, I will return into the house from which I came out of. And when he he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then Goeth and goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked uh, than himself, and they enter into um, and dwell there. And the last state of the man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be 
also unto this wicked generation. Now you heard what he said, right? 